Hello everyone, this is me Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorial brought to you by Glitz Accessory and such. And happy Tuesday. I can't believe it, today is Tuesday. Hope everyone have a great time. And I can't wait to share with you a lot of different cool ideas today. And, oops, sorry. Sorry, this was a little bit of, hey, Mamita, how are you? Hey, Jenny, hey, Eric's, hey, Audria, hey, T, how are you? Thank you so much for uh, tuning in today. I uh, hope you all have a great Tuesday. In front of me, there was um, three nails that we did it with last live video tutorial so if you miss it you can absolutely can view it on our igtv as well as on our facebook and on uh youtube hi debbie hi janae how are you hi keja hey how are you i was uh we have planning to do live earlier but i got some a uh, cool new product i got to be working with I'm gonna show you quick and then this charms and really cute charms up to date will be available for all of you to see that the team working really hard to get all the newest so many the newest new arrivals are here for you to actually is satisfying your uh, crystal obsession so this is one but look at this is a newest foil but neon designer it's coming on your way it's gonna be available soon so I'm playing with this and working for all of you and this underneath it was a flick and then this one is a charm so today I'm gonna to show you some cool charms one of the newest one is gonna be available as well and later today is our really awesome gel painting precision brush I am dying waiting for this and finally it's here for us so today we're probably gonna do that and let me show you how cool pigment it is let me move it here really bright so cool let's play with that guess what i have three short nails today can you believe it people were asking where's all my stiletto but you can see it's all last night so then we can play with short nail because sometimes i know that you're asking for the short nails so then if all of you have a short nails clients this tutorial today is going to be for you also it's going to be fun to doing a long one as well so next live video i might, I might do two nails short nail two long nails so then that's why it fit with every single of you who is have a short nail clients also have a long nail client so then that way you can absolutely enjoying it um i am gonna doing a really quick shares on uh, facebook if you're on facebook welcome to our live tutorial and thank you so much for tuning in um oh, i'm gonna share it on my page Can I get out? Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry, I haven't been on Facebook for a, quite a long time with using sharing and stuff. So I forgot. <laughs> but thanks so much, everyone. And I really appreciate all of you. How are everyone doing today? Great. Okay, I'm gonna go. That's one on Facebook, and I'm gonna watching on uh, Instagram over here. Okay. I wanna. S okay, so who is that? Hello, CC. Hi, Marokins. How are you, Angie? Stacy, Danny. Hey, I just would like to say hi to every single of you. Hello, Ang Henry, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in, Ang. Okay, 
forget what happened with my thing now. Ang Henry, thanks so much for tuning in, Ang. Adore your beautiful work, sis. Uh, if you are on there, you might see one of the IG name under is Nails and Brows by Henry. Can can you say hi again? Because all people come like after you, they can't see you and Henry. He such an really amazing and talented artist nail artist that i'm adore and always looks up to him he always he was supporting glass from a day one thank you so much for the love and support it means the world to us and then for all of you who is tuning in and supporting all the times now I, we really really appreciate it we can't even say thanks enough to every single of you hey mika what's up how are you hey sandy Thanks so much for tuning in. So look, Mika is gonna see I'm um, short nails, but I have long nails on it. This is short nail. And this is really a uh, stunning color. So I am going to use this. I'm sharing it quick over this way. Oh, live back changing her uh, A profile picture just give me one second and then we are on the way great okay so I have this colors right here I really tempting and want to use it and then let's see how it's gonna turn out Libya, hello. Let's see how is this one turn out. I really want to try this. Just on the tip. Short nails for all of you for who loves short nails and then you have a client have a short nails if you want to decide to get this colors on and then you still want it to be brighter do make sure that you add a top coat first and then Kia first you don't want to leave a tacky layers like what I having right now because the pigment is going to rub on that, on that. So make sure you remember it to put the top coat first. Then you can rub a pigment, but I don't know if I want a pigment. I can have a pigment if I want to. So how are everyone doing? Are you working on the contest nails? so excited to have everyone to participate good luck everyone have fun more important that enjoying it and have fun it's like challenge yourself and you will get there kill this one for 60 seconds and then that's the colors but i really like to do this one as well the pink one Oh, thank you, Cece. So let's see the hot pink, which is the pink. Uh, I'm looking for the blue too. I will find blue for you. I think it's somewhere around here. I have so many of them not laying on the side and I clean it up and I make a mess again. But I think I'm gonna do three of them in different colors. Just in case your clients decide to get 10 snails with the French 
and each of them will be different colors. How's everyone doing today? And if you have any question for the contest or any concerned, not sure anything, please let me know. I will do my best if I'm not sure with the answer. I will have the team get back to you. This one is so unlike who though, it's easy to control. And that. Let's do next one. This dog is so sorry. And then I must have the blue one somewhere. Can I get the blue one? You want your painting? Yes, I think it's the blue one. I did this to the yellow and the pink. This one is yellow. And then I'm not using a blue. Can you cut? This one, it gives you really precise strokes so you don't have to like getting a big uh, brush from a gel polish. This is like really pigmented and thick density, like not thick like our gel painting in the pot, but also thinner. So it's kind of between our gel polish and a gel painting. So it looks, it's so easy that it's not running or it's not looked translucent. So it's solid it's color, is like opaque. So then that way you can get a cool a French look without have to using any other brush to clean up the excess, like all that gel polish. Really cool. So here, this one. And hi, Fire. How are you? Hey, Six Mom. Daya, Daya, Daya. Hello, how are you? Hi, Nene. Hey, Tori. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Happy Tuesday. Hi, Jenny. All right, so it's good if you want, like if the clients don't want this and the clients want more designs, there's more fun to do with this. I'm so excited. This is today we're going to do something fun, but tomorrow we're going to do something even really cool though with a lot of different new products. So in front of me, there's a lot of different cool new charms. I know a lot of you like, oh, I know if I'm going to play with these charms and I know how to play with them. And they're probably really fun, but then they're also really hard to do. If not, it's just so much fun. So on the contest, you can either do like crystal placement along, incorporate with your frames, charms, and anything you want. Like the same like what I have it on my nails right here. You can absolutely do with this. You don't have to just settle with just crystal only. You can do this with like your crystals, your charm your beads, or even you wrap around your chains and anything, however you would like it. So it's gonna be so fun. Hi Brad, how are you? All right, so it looks good now. If you want, I'm gonna go into the crystal placements and I didn't want to mess it up because if I do more and I've stopped, do more and you sit like, oh my God, Nancy, you covered everything. So I have two coats of gel polish and I'm using all this gel painting uh, this one and this, these three of them for the French look. And I'm going to using my uh, condensed glue gel. It's really thick density, you can see that. Each of them you just need a little, you don't need a whole lot. 
However, if you're using for your 3D, you can absolutely... Ah, should I get one of this? A flower. Maybe I should do a flower. Should I do a flowers? Like a super cute flower yesterday? Okay, let me do the flowers for you to see. I have a 3D flowers. So let's um, do that one first. So I'm going to make a little bit the lock of the Kondan Gujaos. And then I am going to pick this flowers right here. It's super cute. And I am going to pick some colors. Of course, I want yellow to match. And then I want pink to match. And then of course you have a blue. So I didn't put the top coat yet. But I'm gonna do this so I can flash key it really quick. There you go. You make sure they kind of look like a puzzle together. So this lasts so much better. And to lean on each other tight. Okay, now we're gonna flash key this one for 30 seconds or even 10 seconds to hold it down first. And then we're gonna play with the crystal placements. All right. So cute. I almost put the bear on. I'm thinking that bear. Is that cute? And where it's on my thumb. Sega nails. Which one five? I'm sorry, I miss it. <laughs> Hello everyone, for those who's just tuning in, welcome to our live tutorial brought to you by Glitz Accessory and such nightly, every night. So today we're doing it like a gel painting in a bottle. It's just freaking stunning and super easy. And you see me doing French in like such a no time at all. And you can do it thin, you can do it thick, you can do it however, you can do V-shape, you can do skinny V-shape. You can do however you would like, your clients would like. And I just moved right into crystal placement. I using condensed glue gel. It's really thick density. I'm just open it and get stuff. And um, just need a little bit. And then to get that going on, and hold tight to my uh, cute flowers. And I'm gonna using condensed glue gel again. And really thin layer because we're gonna do it right on the top of this and we, this time we're not doing 3D gel, uh, 3D flower, uh, 3D crystal, I'm sorry. We can do a flat back. So I am going to apply it all because sometimes I just, some of the spot that I know I wanna do, but then I end up do like so much more um, on the nails. Instead of, so I'm just applying on uh, and tie the nails. Just thin coat, you don't need a whole lot. Just that, jars go a long way. If you are finished in one month, it means that, congratulations, you did a lot of your crystal placement. That fabulous. So I am going to use next, uh, no wipe top coat. This is will be a second step of trifecta will hold down this with unclear condensed glue gel i'm floating on the top i don't drag it because then it pull off my condensed glue gels i want condensed glue gel to stay the same place but just using a top coat to floating on the top so then it will hold down the crystal really nicely that's good it's smooth and now we're gonna just need to place the crystal. You know, this one will be really good with, um, I have the 
glow in the dark one the next one right there thank you to so matching with the cute flowers and then I want something on the flowers as well I have a glow in the dark Okay, I'm gonna pick the smaller size of the crystal. You see me see me doing a big one. But this time I use a smaller one. Especially this is the next one. I really want the pink one now. Okay, we're doing the S shape. It's really fun now. It's the first time for me doing the short nails. I think from the trims for a long time. You know what you can do with this one? Beside this, you can absolutely add like um, the opal. The opal crystal is also really cute as well. And it's matching with hello. I need to get some more of the smaller one. This flower is so adorable. There's so many of them in here, that's why I was like, I'm picking the smaller ones. So then. You can now, if you like it, you can absolutely choose to do uh, beads on it. If you don't, it looks great as well. It already looks really good. You can do is go beads. And the best way, if you are first time doing a crystal placement or you start like playing with a lot of crystal placement and you're not sure where is the best part to place your crystal you just get the big centerpiece either on the top on the middle of the nails or on on the diagonals or corner of the nails make sure you get we start with the bigger centerpiece and then you um using all the different crystal smaller size or frame and charms and place them along with your uh, big centerpiece and trust me you will never go wrong with this it's only gonna turn out great good and better it's not gonna be anything like well you can't never make a mistake with this like you just place them tight together and it's up to you and your clients to decide that you want to get beats on sometimes i really like the beats on some clients some my, my clients don't care much for beats or they just want a different price range. Like instead of this design with no beads on, for instance, it can be like 10, 12, 15 dollars. We have a beads on, it's gonna be extra five more dollars because you are uh, actually place them as the um, jewelry instead of just the crystal placement. So I try not to catch into the French look because I like the look of the French on that one. 
So I'm gonna leave it alone and just place that along with and should I do that one? I'm tempting to get this one right here. But then it looks good like that. Do you need anything? Yeah. yeah? Looks good. Okay. Let's kill this one for 60 seconds. It's so adorable, huh? So simple and I think it's the first time I do a short nail. Do you think? For a little while. The last one was a while back. Oh, well, before I did not nails ago, I did like have a uh, tip sample, I think, but uh, it's still, uh, still a, a long nails. But I'm so excited, like a lot of us will have a clients like that too and have a shorter nails. So, okay, we're doing a bear or no bear. We can do a bear and cute bear and we can do one um, charms on the nails. So then we can have some time for the question Q&A if you have it for me. Well, if you have any general questions for regarding to the contest, um, any, like if you are working progress right now, oops, now I just picked them up and I spill it again. Sorry, everyone. Hey, Sarah. Okay, great. I spilled that. All right, so that next one, let me see if anyone wanna see the bear. The bear? Oh, Janae, okay, you wanna see the bear? Okay, let's do the condensed glue gels. Again, it really thick density. Hi, Dom, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. All right, so thick density, I am going to apply the whole nails. Actually, she's really easy and like place it on, so easy going. And like she stay flat on the nails on her back, so it's attached really well. You don't have to worry about if she's sitting is like smooth on the nails or is like Hang off, like perfect size for the nails. The bear, super cute. What color is the bear? Would you like to see? I have the blue one on my hand, right here to matching with the French look. This one, look at that. She's so adorable, huh? All the purple. All like contrast color with pink. Oh, I have a pink. I have a pink one. Is that adorable? It's the, it can be for the um, gender reveal. Like you can get the blue and the pink. <laughs> it's so cute. Hi, it's Corina, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. All right, so I don't know if anyone wants a pink. Maybe a pink to be contrast. Send in this pink would do some charms on that one. What do you think? Oh, it looks cute. We can do some pink. Super cute theme today. Really, really adore theme. Blue. <laughs> okay, it's matching, right, CC? All right, so we're gonna do a no wipe top coat. This, uh, the second step for a trifecta will help. It's, um, Floating on the top of the condensed glue gels. All right, so what do we say? Blue, <laughs> Blue to matching. You know what, if you like her like that, you can leave her alone. No need to do anything else. But if you want something that's cute for her, you absolutely can do something. Um, let me dress her a little bit for all of you.
want to smell this guy. Hey Jordan, you can smell it boo. Just want a smaller one. You can get a bigger one. If you have the longer nails, I think is the bigger crystal also looks super cute as well. beats for that oh she's so comfortable to wear I'm wearing it plays with this it looks so fun it doesn't like catching on sting because we put the precision glue on it hold her down and quite nice because her back is really attached to the nail so she's not going anywhere but going with you for the next three weeks or your clients for the next three weeks or longer really interesting I love it looks so cute I feel like I can eat it smaller I see Sarah doing a lot of like a short cute short nails as well this is who be for any of you who had the short nail clients. And uh, put some beads on this and like a go beads. Okay. And let's see. I'll put some beads on here to just wrap her but however if you want this um design you want her like the bear and you want um wraps around her with like crystals it will look super cute as well i think it's gonna be so adorable and just place some beads on to make sure that we but you don't have to if you can if you want just her by herself you can i don't know i call her her because they have i think they have some different colors i don't know is it ever gonna like tell the gender of the bear huh i have no idea but She looks good. Seems she happy in that because I make a really nice like um, uh, stage or the chair or whatever you call for her. Look at that. She's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cure it if I'm happy with this and let cure this on for 60 seconds. And I will do precision glue on all of them after we finish. That's one. She's saying her back. It's really nice and like have a little bit of halo here so then when you place on the nails it's really nice it suck right in with the condensed glue gel and uh, no white top coat so like mine is like concrete like and then she doesn't catch me at all because I seal her like it's attached to it it's like built into the nails and let's go into the next nail. This next nail is going to be a little bit different. Also gorgeous. The last nails. Alright, so a lot of cute um, charms right here. There's a lot of going on. And I'm thinking in my mind to do this for you. Or this. This one, it looks so cute. I don't know, you tell me. Either one, I can do that. Look at that. We can dress this one up because this is a short nails, clients. 
or also just on it cool then it has like kind of um like kind of a bordeaux look that is cute huh Oh, so many super duper cute nails. Okay. Hey, money back. How are you? All right. Let's see because this is video for all of you. What you want to see? Um. One, two, three, four, five. There's a lot. Cute. Okay, we're gonna do throughout the week we do a lot of like uh tutorial for the new charms come in all right everyone tell me what you want to see okay this frame too so let me do this so then you can tell me this is part of it there's thousands of different design just kidding maybe a few hundred different design of charms that you can choose to after i go live okay one two three four five six seven eight i don't want to overwhelming myself and everyone so eight what number are we doing today hey live us um this one it keeps Okay, sorry everyone, somehow is just the connection is just like out. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you the first nails and the second nails. It's absolutely fun for summer times. Hey, it's Corina, if you're still there, I am doing well. Thank you so much. Hope you are as well. Hey, the glam girl, how are you? See you later. You can always be watching on the um, IGTV, love. And ha if you have any questions for the um, contest, don't hesitate to let us know, okay? Just pop in to say hi. That's awesome. Okay. So, I don't know. I'm going to do whatever. Hey, Angie, how are you? All right. So, anyone want to see anything? Because I don't know if I miss anyone. If I miss, maybe with the connection. So, if you see anything, let me know. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. Live us. I see you. Now I get to see you. Only Jones, hey, thank you so much. It's super cute, right? I love it. All right, so let me pick whatever, okay? So, hey, Mama Vic, thank you. Oh, so the light was end, and everybody get back in. Okay, so let's do the condensed glue gel first. And the thick density. It was a light out for a second or what? I don't know because it's all sudden it's on my end. It's like, oh, a poor connection. So I just want to make sure that it's not completely out. Really thick density. And make sure there's not connections again. And it's really thick, so make sure you blend it. And do not hesitate to blend it. You don't need a whole lot unless you do a 3D, like 3D that I showed you earlier. Then you just make a really uh, smaller blobs of condensed wood gel and yeah. just about the same size as the crystal or the 3D um, flowers, charm and chain that you're going to use. I am going to apply no wipe top coat and floating the technique which is that I didn't drag the condensed wood gels off from the nails. I'm just floating right on the top of it. You just don't want to get nice finished coat but you don't want to take away from your condensed wood gel because condensed glue gels and white top coat will grab your crystal nicely and um, suck the base in so then that way they will last so much longer. I'm gonna use a super cute this one. 
and we'll see how it turned out for us. Super cute, like a frame charms. And I'm gonna find maybe the cute hot pink. He's gonna feed. This look like going to feed in there. But just in case it's not, let me see if it's the same time. in there I might find a smaller one so then it fits perfect in there if you feel that you're just gonna get that one off and put the small size I think I got size SS10 I says eight. I'm gonna get it as eight in there for us. All right. And I am going to dress it up with the same neon crystals. You can do other ones if you want to. You can do like. What colors do we have? It's on the other nails. We have a blue and yellow. We can do blue. You can do however you want. You can stay in the same themes, uh, pink, if you prefer. Or you can add blue and some yellow. And I am going to put the beads on they get uh, right in the center so you see that what I mean I shang by doing it right in the centers which is you have the centerpiece right and then what you do you place the crystals doesn't matter your centerpiece is um metals i mean the metallic frame or your centerpiece is a big crystal um big crystal shape you can play the smaller ones around you can place it on the cuticles area as the starter point or you can do it right in the center that way i'm doing it right now or you can do it right on the diagonals on the edges of your uh, free edges of your nails However, you want to make sure you don't want to do it closer to the free edges. You want to get um, at least like about 70% down. So then you have a lot of room to place your crystal. And also, you won't worry about that. It's going to hang off the edges and it's going to catching thing. So it's only that you have to be um, uh, consider. But if you place them in the middle... You also place them in the cuticle area. They always turn out nice. And we can't wait to see the beautiful crystal placement. That is so simple and easy, quick for all of you who is have the clients who want short nails. Do you like short nails? Better, I can do next time, we can do like two long nails and two short nails. So then for all of you who are doing a lot of like short nail clients can get an idea. Also who are doing a lot of long nails clients can get an idea of design that we're doing as well. So you can do one beats, you can do more than one beats, you can do three beats, however you prefer. And I am going to cure this. If you're happy with this, you can cure this one for 60 seconds. All right, keep it flat. Looks super cute. I really like that short nail. I have to say I'm so excited because I haven't, I don't know if I haven't or I'm not. And if I haven't done a short nail like this, I'm so sorry. So we're gonna do a short nail and one long nail. I really like and enjoy Sarah doing her um, short nails as well. Okay, so. Okay. 
let me move all the charms on the side this is so excited because we did one of the charms frame there's a little bit solid and then it's really cool to be a centerpiece so like if you have this one it can be really cool centerpiece you can put the kind of oval shape of crystals or you can fill in with your flicky foil or the comb flick to make your own like centerpiece uh let move on to the precision glue on all three of this this is one of the bestie will hold down all the crystals and charms chains and then each time you're using or you're going to squeeze just a little bit you don't want to use a whole lot um, if you feel the 3d need to feel more than it just one time absolutely you can do it again but I would do it first, one round first, and cure it, and then go back and fill it in because you don't want to flood it, your crystal, you want to let it set first, and then you cure it again. So you can repeating more than just one time until you find that the all the gaps and the cracks between crystal are completely sealed because you don't want them to catch you on their hair or their clothes or catching themselves you know like if you feel like the gap there and you can feel it on the top of your metal beads metallic beads because this is will prevent it from getting tarnished okay so let's cure this guy I have a little bit of a residue there I'm gonna using my tin tip brush Great. let's kill this one for 60 seconds i am going to the next one for all of you just tuning in i am using precision glue to seal in all the gaps cracks and the edges the crystal right here her ears a little bit like hanging off because it's right at the cuticle areas or i'm like if all for all of you doing it's going to be the apex um area right there so you wanna make sure you seal her, the bear in nicely. So then the clients won't have to worry about catching on their hair, their nails, I mean the clothes, or catching themselves doing anything, feeling like you're gonna catch it and come off, but it's not. So it's sealed in, it's kind of a double secure really nicely. Okay, I'm gonna seal on her ears as well. And then that one right there. To make sure and I'm going to using a tin tip brush on the other end and blend it so therefore it's not going to okay now we're gonna give this one for 60 seconds next one which is our cute last one here I'm gonna seal this one in. This one's so cute. It looks, I don't know why, maybe I'm like lean on one side to do a stream because of the two camera here. I have gotta make sure that I don't feel like it's crooked because I'm so OCD, so looking at. And with this one, you can make sure you seal it in on the gaps, on the cracks of crystals. And I'm feeling on the charms and chains. So I am going to close this one. Close that first. And then I will show you. I'm getting my brush out. I'll take the second part, the first part, take you to the needle. And second part is the precision brush. It's maybe the memory is full. Sorry, everyone, it's just a connection for Instagram, I think. We have a hard time today with the Instagram. Does anybody have that? It looks so blurry right now on my end. And I'm gonna blend this one nicely 
so then that way you don't have to worry about after you cure it doesn't look slumpy at all okay so here's some cool tip and trick if you feel like this i don't think it's like too much it's just like a feeling if it does i would do another top and blend this because this precision glue will blend with my top coat really nicely and it's tack like free it doesn't tacky at all so you can blend it that's the best way to keep it blending without have to blending with your tin chip brush for like whole nails great all right i'm going to gear this guys for like 60 seconds and the frame I seal is already. So let's kill this one. We have a few minutes. It's really cute um, tutorial today, everyone. I hope you're really enjoying it. Um, Live Rat, you love short nails. Wanda, hey, thank you. Thank you, Mama Vic. Okay, let's see, money back. Netflix, okay, let's see. Okay, great. Where are you going? Where are you going on after this? First episode. Oh, the, what the movie or what? So this is the three nails we did. And then tomorrow we're gonna do, here's I'm gonna share with you tomorrow content. We are going to do this foil out of 10 different foils. And we're gonna do encapsulating it with liquid and powder. I did this one on the nails. So this one not here, this one of flowers and bear. And I'm doing that one. You love the charms? Which one? This one? Or you love this charms? Light brass. I love them all. I don't know. I have a hard time. I like, I don't want to dress. You see how really cute, tiny, short nails is? If I start bling them all out, you don't see the nails. You only see crystals. <laughs> so I'd be good. I was like, okay. I'm working on with those short nails, so I have to balance it. Or else, you don't see the short nail at all. You only see like crystal only. Nothing but crystals. Okay. This one? This shells or this shell? I mean, there's charms, I mean, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, ladies, so the little girl charm will be up later tonight. Yeah, there's um, the charms, please stay tuned. There are probably a hundred different ones always on your way. The team is working really hard for the past few days to get all the newest up to date for all of you. We love all of you so much and we really appreciate every single of you for the love and support. And we are continue to do a live tutorial every night so then you all can enjoy it. And thanks so much for supporting us, support our team. Um, and here is this. I just got some of them, but there are so many. It'll be overwhelming. I'm overwhelming. Like this one, I can't wait because, let me see where my tweezers, maybe my tweezers will hold better than my, um, because they kept heavy, this guy. It's so adorable, it's be perfect for fall. Yeah, sorry. This one, this one come with three different colors, I think, or black, and then that's kind of, um, uh, what do you call the trims? The, uh, what do you call this one? I also didn't know if like ivory or something. This one looks like ivory. 
This is a one out of 1,000, I think. I'm just kidding, my guys. Sorry, I'm just not gonna overwhelming you like I am overwhelming myself. It's so cute. Okay, here this one is cute. This one is so adorable. You can do it this way, and then you can do the other way. However you wanna play with this. Like you can do the metal part on first, or you can do it down. Doesn't matter. You can do, make so many different colors. This one is super cute. This one looks like a frame. This is a frame. This one is so cute too. Let's see if I have some like this round one right there. So I don't know why I'm holding my hand because I think it's too far. And yeah, I can put some of like um, smaller crystal in the middle. My cheese are stuck there. Yeah, oh, I will have a bigger one. So, or you can put A, B, or whatever you want it. Or foil and then encapsulating with your condensed glue gel, it's gonna turn out great. Oh, it's hot. I know, right? It's hot, it's like that. It's hot in Florida, and it's this even hotter. I can't wait for you to come visit us. You know, if you come visit me, I always had a session for your nails, and then you gotta wear 10 nails with 10 different designs. You don't get match. You're gonna get like mix and match. And this this one is, I like her a lot. Sarah, that's her style too. She's like all this. I can't wait. We did a lot of kind of charm like this back beginning like two years over two years ago and then so when everybody like was start learning with some um, crystal placement and then now we're back in but better there's a lot of cute cool charms and chains and that's why we're here to support you i really appreciate all of you tonight i love you all if you have any question for me at all for the contest and all the products you can simply find on our Official website at glitzassessinsash.com and uh, probably shares was sharing with the quotes for you uh, on the <laughs> on the uh, on the screen right there. And also, if you are on um, Amazon Prime, you can find this really convenient for you condensed glue gels and precision glue on our Amazon. You just simply type in glitzassessinsash and it will take you to exactly the product authentic on Amazon Prime. Also, you can get purchase like precision glue by itself if you really need to get a feeling and um, you know, if you run out of it, you can get it from Amazon. And then same thing with condensed glue gels or you can type in condensed glue gels and then or precision glue or glue assessment and such, it will link you right to um, direct our products. Yes, and then Sarah's saying the codes right there and using the code Sarah S A R A S to save 15% off on uh, most products on Glitz Assessing and such. I wish they had the panda like that. Ah, we have a sticker panda too. And then Chandra Point next, we're gonna mold special live ass panda. So I will see you tomorrow. And um, please be safe and have a good night. Bye, everyone. I love you all.